So, I don't have a job, and my computer broke this morning. <laughs> my life be like, wow, yeah, ooh. my life be like, yeah. Ooh, wow, ooh, wow, yeah, ooh. Happy Friday, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, my YouTube channel for those of you who have not done so already make sure you hit subscribe and today's <laughs> vlog as you follow me as I start my own practice the title is I ain't got no job as I referenced earlier well I guess it's complicated technically I have a job the practice is opening but my other ratchet job I had to quit. So some of you may know from previous episodes that I uh, was starting to travel a lot. Sorry, I need coffee. Started to travel a lot for my job. And that was not the original intent um, of the job. That was not told to me beforehand. It was always that you have an option to do so if you wish. But for um, maybe the first few weeks that I was working, it was just close to home. I'm sorry, I really need coffee, guys. So then it became, oh, we don't have any uh, availability, um, so you have to wait a few days to work. I, it was always last minute, so I'm just like, okay. And then they said, would you mind um, driving a little bit farther? A little bit farther. So I said, yes. But then it became farther and farther and farther for the last like, uh, well, you guys know I was in Austin last month. And then for the last, like, three weeks, um, every day, it was like an hour and 45-minute commute to wherever I was going. In addition to that, you're in the car all day. And then by the end of the day, just logistics, um, you end up being two hours away from home. So that's a substantial amount of time every day. And then... Um, on top of that, I am packing. So this is why I'm doing this video in my living room. It's like the only clear spot in the house. And as you can see, it's like a box central. Boxes everywhere. All manner of evil here. Uh, all manner of evil here <laughs> in my living room. So it's been stressful. And they knew that I was moving. That's the, I said that at the end of the month. So, um... I got an email um, that said that I would be in Brownwood, which is about two um, two hours away, which the problem is they just send you an email. They don't even tell you, hey, you're going to have this assignment out here. You just get an email with a rental car agreement and a hotel reservation, <laughs> like literally 24 hours before, if you are lucky. That one time when I went to Austin, I just happened to look at my schedule because they only, for some reason, they only let... You see the schedule um, like 12 hours in advance. And I called and was like, hey, this is supposed to be in Austin tomorrow. And I was already in another hotel elsewhere. So long story short, some of you saw that video. You know, I ended up there at 2 o'clock in the morning just went ahead and worked. Because I called the recruiter, um, the one that's supposed to handle, you know, my schedule and stuff. And left her voicemail and she never responded, of course. So anyway... Um, long story short, so I got that and I found out I was going to be in Brownwood. And then I had to check in the hotel on a Friday, work, um, and then check out Saturday, work, drive home two hours, and then check back in on Sunday. And then uh, that Friday, I found out that they were going to put me in Austin for another month. I'm like, I cannot do that. So I checked back in the hotel on Sunday, worked Monday. Then from there, I had to drive to Austin, which was like another three hours. And I worked that week and I was just exhausted. And I mean, there are so many things that I need to address. Like I said, we have opening day for the practice in two weeks. I have to move, get out of here next week. And I've been in Austin and elsewhere like the, you know, last month for majority of the month. So I'm like, I don't have time for this. And of course, Oh, well, there's nothing they can do. Okay, well, I cannot do this. I Like, if you can't find somewhere close to home, I quit. Like, I, I literally cannot do this. Then it became, oh, you need to give us advance notice. Really? <laughs> Did you get...
give me advance notice. Like, you guys can let me know if it's me, but I don't know any adult on earth, a responsible adult that's paying bills, that has things to take care of, that can just travel and stay somewhere for an extended period of time, three, four weeks, without any prior notice more than 12 hours or even 24 hours. So that's where I'm at. And <laughs> my computer broke early this morning. Look at this, it's on the ground. Uh, that's my 14. That's my 14 year old <laughs> computer. So it was making this weird noise the other day. And I thought to myself, I hope this doesn't break. And then the next morning I go to turn it on. Doesn't turn on. Troubleshooted uh, for a majority of the morning. Couldn't get it to turn on. So now I'm going to have to buy another one. So um, that's my Friday. But the thing <laughs> that I really wanted to talk about is fear. So I addressed that uh, in um, our uh, Monday Morning Weekly Inspiration, uh, that video um, at the beginning of the week. And as opening day gets closer, and closer, I just began to feel like overwhelmed with fear, the type of fear that makes you feel like a child. You know, when you were younger and there's monsters under your bed and you can't go to sleep and it consumes you and all you want is for your parents um, <laughs> to get rid of it. And that's just how I felt. Um, but you know, like I was in Bible study this morning, um, for myself, but also preparing for our upcoming series. And, you know, I've just been, um, meditating on first Timothy. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. God is in control of everything. That does not mean that we don't have to prepare, that we don't have to research, that we don't have to do our part. But when we know that we have done everything that we can, that we just rest. We rest in him knowing that he is a good father and that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. His word says that he's a healer, that he's a deliverer. Um, that he's our teacher, uh, the Holy Spirit is our confident. All of those things that we need, he possesses and is ready and willing to give it to us if we just receive. So for those of you that are like me and just had a trying week or you've been experiencing circumstances like this job thing, I was not expecting that. But to be honest, I think it was a good thing because going forward, there were so many things that I needed to get done that I could not in any means have gotten done. I didn't even realize how many more things were left to do. So I was super productive um, this week and got a lot. And then I'll have next week. And then we had the grand opening, but then I'll kind of have that week as well. So like two more additional weeks to just kind of prepare. And I didn't want to go into... Um, this, this is a great ordeal. So I didn't want to go into it tired and stressed and already feeling, um, burnt out. And on top of that, it just wasn't going to work. Like my clinic days are Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I had Tuesdays and Wednesdays and was going to work on Saturdays as well for a six day week. And knowing them, they were going to have me traveling during the week. It was just not feasible. So for those of you that have encountered just um, unexpected situations and circumstances, just know not to fear um, that God has it completely under control. Just do your part and then trust and rest in him, um, believing that he will do the rest for you. Um, so with that being said, happy Friday. For those of you that are having a great Friday, please comment, let me know so I can celebrate with you. Um, and for those of you that want to help pack, please come because apparently I need a team for that. Um, and as always, it is my sincerest hope that you guys be well, that you have an amazing Friday and a great, restful, peaceful weekend and that you will join me bright and early Monday morning inspiration as we start our brand new series 
on destroying limitations and we are going to tackle um, one of the first subjects that I feel um, impairs a lot of people in life and that is overcoming fear. Uh, I think you guys are going to be inspired and encouraged. So with that being said, I will see you guys soon.